You've probably come across a few photos that look flawless or too good to be true on your Instagram or other social media platforms in the past couple of months. Well, it may surprise you to know that most of these photos or videos are in fact mere creations of AI and not pictures of real people. And that's what we'll be handling in this video. Here you're going to learn how to create your own hyper-realistic AI influencer and eye-catching AI influencer videos. Let's get started. Get a source image. The first thing you need to do to create your hyper-realistic AI influencer is obtain a source image. This image will be the one that your generated AI image is based on. It's very crucial at this point to make sure you get a picture of a person looking directly into their camera. And Google's a good resource you can use to easily find those pictures. For instance, you can try searching for a picture of Rihanna looking into her camera, or a picture of any celebrity you prefer. When you have the picture, the next step you'll need to take is to open Midjourney or any other free AI image generators you have, like Dali 2 or Firefly. In this video, though, we'll describe the process using Midjourney. Once you're in Midjourney, go to your Discord Midjourney server and type forward slash describe. A box will pop up and you'll need to drag your downloaded image into the box and hit enter. When you do that, Midjourney will give you some prompts based on the image you uploaded. Generate all the images in the prompts and choose the image you prefer the most. The image you pick should be the one that looks very similar to the image you first uploaded and should be the most realistic. When you find that image, save it. Gather your target images. The next step will be gathering your target images. For that, let's head over to cart.ai, which is a free AI image generator. When you get there, what you want to do is use the search bar to look for a photo that's similar to the one you've saved from Midjourney. You could use different keywords you feel correspond with the image to find models on Cart that look like it. When you do that, you'll get options of models you can use. When you see one you like, you can click it and use it directly, or you can click it and then click Try. When you click Try, you'll get the model and its prompt in your image generator chat, where you can now reconfigure the prompt to create different pictures of the same model according to your taste. You could even render the same prompt and you'll still get different pictures of the model. Once you're done with this, download the images you like and you can even go back to do more searches for pictures that are similar looking to your model. When you find these pictures on SeaArt, download them and save them in your folder. Image creation through face swapping. The next step is image creation through face swapping. To do this, you'll need Midjourney, where you can create your own Midjourney Discord server, and GitHub, which can be a useful tool, as long as you can work your way around it. The link will be in the description box below. Now, back to Midjourney. When you're there, simply click the plus icon to add a server. Follow the steps that come up, and after setting up the server, you'll need to head back to the official Midjourney server. There, you'll click an icon to see the member list, where you'll find the Midjourney bot. Click on the bot, and then click Add to Server. When that's done, choose the server you've just created and continue. Now, head over to click the GitHub link in the description and scroll down to where it says Step-by-Step -step Guide. Now, click the Discord link on point 2, then select your Midjourney Discord server and continue. This way, you're going to add another bot to your server. Now go back to your Midjourney server, and as you'll see on the right-hand side, you'll have the newly invited bot, the Insight Face Swap Bot, which is a pretty amazing tool. Now here's how it works. Go ahead and type forward slash save ID. When you do that, you'll see a column for an ID name. In that column, put any name you like, and then drag the image you first generated from Midjourney into the column for it, and hit enter. Wait till you see that your ID name has been created, then type forward slash swap ID. You'll come across another set of columns for an ID name and image. Type in the name you want and put in one of the target images you've saved from SeaArt and hit enter. With that, you'll get an amazing face swap and you can look at the picture you uploaded and the results you're getting to see the difference. Now, repeat the process again for all your target images and don't forget to save the finished images. Mind you, your source image has to be named sourceimage1.jpg. Also, make sure you have all of these images in nice and organized folders so you don't get confused as to what image is which during the process. Creating your hyper-realistic video. Now it's time to up the ante with Google Collab. 
Let's see how you can create your hyper-realistic video with this tool. Before that, however, just in case you're wondering why we're not recommending Runway, it's because as good as Runway is, it most times fails at generating the hyper-realism you want. We covered that flaw in a previous video, so be sure to check it out. So, back to the video generating procedure. The first step you want to take is to get a target video. For that, you can either find a video online or create one by yourself or with friends. When you have the video, make sure it's saved as targetvideo.mp4. You'll also need to get a source image. You can easily pick one of the finished images in your folder as a source image, particularly one where the model's face looks directly into the camera as that will help with the next step. Now click the Google Collab link in the description. When you're there, run the first cell under Clone Group Repo and Install Dependencies and wait till it's finished. After that, take a look at the left pane of your screen. You'll see a files box there. What you'll then need to do is drag your source image and video to that box and hold on for them to upload. Next, click the first cell under Download Model and hold on till the runtime is done. Once that's done, to avoid errors, head to the first cell under Deep Fake and delete the part that says Video Quality 18. However, you should also note that depending on your browser, you may see Video Quality 18 instead of Video Quality 80, so don't be all too confused when that happens. Next, you'll copy the path of your target video in the files box by clicking the three dots beside the name of the file containing the now uploaded video, and then clicking on Copy Path. Once you've done that, paste it in the cell under Deep Fake, specifically to replace the part that says forward slash content forward slash video dot mp4. Next, copy the source image's path and paste it to replace the part of the cell that says forward slash content forward slash image 2 dot jpg. Once that's done, run the entire cell and wait for your commands to process. It will take a short while, so patience will be needed here. When the process is done, a file named swapped.mp4 will then pop up in the files box. If it fails to appear by itself, click the refresh button. Then download your video and watch it. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, note that if you want to process more videos, you'll need to first delete the initially swapped video from the files box before following the process highlighted earlier. Get a name and bio. Now that you've got finished images and videos of your hyper-realistic AI influencer, let's look at creating your bio and name. For this step, visit the social media account of any influencer you like, copy their bio, and ask ChatGPT to create something similar. Create a social media account. When you have that, the next step is creating a social media account. You can easily create an account on TikTok or Instagram, insert your bio from ChatGPT, and start posting the images and videos you've generated. And there you have it, all you need to know about how to create a hyper-realistic AI influencer, go viral with social media, and make a lot of cool money for yourself using the various tools at your disposal. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as we have, and if that's the case, kindly subscribe to the channel and leave a like or comment. Until next time, bye, and we'll see you in the next video.